Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Many people have wondered what else do I grow besides peppers and hydroponic. So today um, we are going to pick some melons and sh so I'm going to show you what else I grow. Um, I, I do a lot of uh, hydroponic gardening but I also do a lot of outdoor gardening. So I grow from exotic herbs to peppers, melon, um, all kinds of different vegetables and all that stuff. Uh, today we're going to pick uh, a melon and uh, we're gonna try it out and let you see what else I'm growing so the melon that I'm talking about is the honey kiss melon and it's, it's sitting here right behind me so I'll show you that shortly so honey kiss melon is basically a, um, a hybrid of the hammy melon and the hammy melon was originally uh, developed in China that's where it's grown and uh, the honey kiss is basically uh, a hybrid developed for a, a, a company that brand all of the melon as kisses so you find like a honey kiss sugar kiss um, some other kisses but <laughs> they're absolutely amazing melons and uh, they they can grow very big uh, they're very refreshing they they grow really well in the summer uh, not too uh, like the extreme heat of Texas but if you start them early like uh, in April and they go up into June and July and then you can harvest a melon so uh, we're gonna show you what the melons look like and then uh, we're gonna pick it and try it out so uh, let's go ahead and do that all right guys here is a look at the honey kiss melon these plants can grow very rigorously and uh, they can eventually just take over uh, your raised bed so underneath there is actually my compost bin see here so I originally I had a tomato plant which is the sugar sun sugar look at this these things produce so crazy I mean you can't eat all of them they just produce so much so the the birds would come by and they'll eat them so that's okay because I have so many that uh, it's, it's fine that they'll eat a few. So back here is my honey kiss melon and it started actually right here. That's the original uh, spot where it's growing from. And then it, it crawled all the way out here into onto the, uh, the tomato plants and then it's now resting on uh, my raised bed. And then here I have another tomato plant sitting in that container there and then it's also climbing all over the tomato plant. And uh, I started this uh, in March and then I brought them outside in about April and that's usually uh, how, 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 uh, how I do grow these and they grow the best that way. And during the heat of summer usually you see that they they don't produce too well when it's like extreme heat so they they kind of like die off but i have a few fruits that took and they're way in there you see that that melon is a massive melon and then in here i have another one next to it down there and then there's another one right here you see that so i have a few I'm not sure if I have any back there. I, I haven't really checked, but <laughs> it's just uh, so difficult to get in here because it's just all over the place. So uh, peppers here, and then a huge tomato plant that just fell over. See that? That's the cage right there, the green thing there. The cage was standing up, but then now it's it's kind of like fell backward because of the weight of the tomatoes. So. Uh, my melon is right in the middle there, so I'm gonna have to try to uh, to pick it. So these honey kiss melon, you you want to pick them when they're like gold. You see that they're real yellow, and then the stem is also yellow. So if they're not this color, if they're lighter yellow color, don't don't pick them yet. This is the the color that that that's when they're ready. So uh, you can also see the stem so hard to get in there but the stem will also uh, turn yellow so if it's still green uh, don't pick them uh, they usually take a, a bit of time to ripe but um, and it's hard to describe but 
that's the color right there and then the skin is like netted so uh, it'll turn like a brown nettish and the netted skin so I'm gonna go ahead and try to pick this and then I'll show you what they look like all right guys you see that spot that's where it was and so now that I cut it there's another melon there and there's another one right here and here is our beautiful melon man this thing is massive you see it's much larger than a regular cantaloupe there's my cut right there so you see this area here once it turns yellow everything's completely yellow and that's when you should cut it so it's been on the vine for a very long time and on camera you can't really see this but it's a very bright orange color so last year I picked one that was a little bit early and it was the skin was still yellow so uh, this is the best time to pick the melon so uh, we're gonna take this inside and then uh, cut this open and try it out all right guys here is our melon and after harvesting the melon I actually took it inside and left it on my counter for a week so uh, here it is after a week it's still nice and fresh uh, this area kind of healed up already right here you see it turns uh, into a different color but um, it's still nice and firm so we're gonna cut it open today and uh, have a taste at this so it's a very very big melon very pretty heavy um, not sure how to cut the melon but I'll just go ahead and slice it down the center so that way it's easy for me to uh, collect the seeds out of here wow it's very nice and firm look at that wow this is such a beautiful color it's like a salmon color on the inside let's give this a smell it smells very sweet like just like cantaloupes okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scoop out the seeds here and then we'll cut a piece to try This is a very large melon uh, compared to the regular cantaloupe that I usually buy at the grocery store. Okay, let's cut a piece, just like how we eat it in the old days. Just slice like that and have a try at this. All right guys, here it is, my honey kiss melon. Let's ha have a try at this. So the the, I grew this uh, early in uh, in April, I think. So uh, it, it did really well in the extreme heat and it produced a few fruits. I have four left right now. So uh, let's give this a try and see how good it is. Mmm. Very, very sweet. Tastes like brown sugar. Refreshing. Excellent fruit for the summer. Mm, nice and crunchy, good texture. It has a crunchy texture with a, a lot of liquid, so uh, and it is very very sugary. Nice and crunchy, which is also makes it really, really good, really nice. Mmm, <laughs> this is really good. I could probably eat this whole half by myself. And it's a very beautiful fruit, nice color. I love the way it looks on the inside, so it's like kind of like a salmon color. So um, if you have not had uh, honey kiss melon before, uh, I highly recommend you try it. Um, sometimes if you go to a Korean supermarket, like I have one here uh, locally, and when I go there in the summer, they always have this. But uh, when I see them in the store, they, they don't look as fresh. So sometimes they have little dents and bumps and stuff like that. And, and it, it gets soft on certain side. So make sure when you buy them at the grocery store that they're all nice and firm all around without any uh, dents or marks on them. Uh, and uh, I think they sell it by the pound so it gets a little bit expensive. So uh, if you can find them, just give it a try. You probably like them, and uh, you should grow this in your garden because um, 
it tastes so much better if you grow it. I mean, you pick it and eat it right away. Fresh is the best. So um, that's it, guys. Honey kissed melon. Highly recommend it. It's super sweet, very nice and crunchy, beautiful uh, color. And uh, the plant is very easy to grow. You can grow it in high, higher heat climate like me in Texas and they would do just fine. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.